Almost 170 years ago, Jesuit priests accompanied several thousand Potawatomi Indians from the Great Lakes area to Lynn County, Kansas. The westward expulsion of the Indians was a continuation of the U.S. government's policy to vacate land for the use of white settlers. Many of this Potawatomi tribe were baptized Catholics and they established a Christian community with the church at this settlement called St. Mary's of Sugar Creek. Several years later, nuns from St. Charles, Missouri came to educate the Potawatomi tribe. Among them was Rose Philippine Duchesne, who on July 3rd, 1988, was canonized a saint by St. Pope John Paul II. St. Rose Philippine Duchesne was a French nun and a prominent early member of the Religious Sisters of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. She was already in her early 70s and in poor health when she came to Kansas, but her love for God and her love for the American Indians inspired in her the desire to serve this Potawatomi tribe. The Indian tribe she served referred to her as the woman who prays always. To memorialize the lives and the work of these early Kansas settlers, the original site of this community has been preserved as a park that serves as a spiritual, educational, and recreational opportunity for Catholics and for everyone who might appreciate this rich piece of Kansas history. The entrance to the park has been enhanced by a fort-style gate to visualize the frontier days of the mid-1800s. Once inside the park, there's a detailed memorial that records the trail of death, describing the many weeks of misery and death which brought the Indians to Kansas. At the site of the original church, a large altar and cross have been erected. Next to the altar and crosses are the foundation remnants of the original buildings which house the priests and the nuns. And with each, there is a detailed historical marker. Not far from the altar and crosses is the beginning of several nature trails. Throughout the park, rock monuments tell the story of how the Indians and the clergy ministered to each other's needs. The park also has the 14 Stations of the Cross set along a beautiful nature trail. In an open field, there is a Seven Cross Memorial listing the names of over 600 baptized Indian Catholics that are buried here. Another memorial honors Father Benjamin Pettit a young French priest who ministered to the Potawatomi tribe, both spiritually and physically, on their trail of death from northern Indiana to St. Mary's Mission in Kansas. With nearly 20 combined acres of grasslands and woodlands, there is plenty of space for camping, picnics, and recreational outings. The Shrine Church of St. Rose Philippine Duchesne is located just 12 miles southeast of the park at Sacred Heart Parish in Mound City, Kansas. Sacred Heart's regular mass times are Saturdays at 6.30 p.m. and Wednesdays at 6 p.m. We also have adoration on Sundays from 8 a.m. to noon with a Divine Mercy Chaplet at 11.30 a.m. We invite you to join us on a pilgrimage to this hallowed shrine into this holy mission ground where St. Rose Philippine Duchesne walked, taught, and prayed always. We invite Catholics men's and women's groups, high school groups, and parish groups to visit the park and shrine. If a priest is traveling with the group, he is more than welcome to celebrate mass at the park or at the shrine. Get in touch with your pastor and plan a pilgrimage to Mound City, Kansas, Shrine of St. Rose Philippine Duchesne. Come one, come all, St. Rose Philippine Duchesne, pray for us always. <laughs>